Yeshayahu, Isaiah 17 The Burden of Damascus Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. The cities of Ar Ur Ar Ur rather Ar Er are forsaken. They shall be for flocks which shall lie down, and none shall make them afraid. The fortress also shall cease from Ephraim, and the kingdom from Damascus, and the remnant of Aram. They shall be as the glory of the children of Yashadael, says Yahuwah Sevaoth. And in his day it shall come to pass that the glory of Yahov shall be made thin, and the fatness of his flesh shall wax lean. And it shall be as when the harvest man gathers the grain and reaps the ears with his arm. And it shall be as he that gathers ears in the valley of Raphaim. Yet gleaning grapes shall be left in it as the shaking of an olive tree. Two or three berries in the top of the uppermost bow, four or five in the outmost fruitful branches thereof, says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael. At that day shall a man look to his Maker, and his eyes shall have respect to the Holy One of Yashadael. And he shall not look to the altars, the work of his hands, neither shall respect that which his fingers have made, either the Asherah poles or the images. In that day shall his strong cities be as a forsaken bow and an uppermost branch, which they have left because of the children of Yashadael, and there shall be desolation. Because you have forgotten the Elohim of your Yeshua, and have not been mindful of the rock of your strength. Therefore shall you plant pleasant plants, and shall set it with strange slips. In the day shall you make your plant to grow, and in the morning shall you make your seed to flourish. But the harvest shall be a heap in the day of grief and of desperate sorrow. Woe to the multitude of many people, which make a noise like the noise of the seas, and to the rushing of nations, that make a rushing like the rushing of mighty waters. The nations shall rush like the rushing of many waters, but Elohim shall rebuke them, and they shall flee far off, and shall be chased as the chaff of the mountains before the wind. And like a rolling thing before the whirlwind. And behold, at evening tide, trouble, and before the morning, he is not. This is the portion of them that spoil us, and the lot of them that rob us.